Now what can we do to solve a system of three equations? Let's say that 2x plus y plus z is equal to 7 and 2x minus y plus 2z is equal to 6 and x minus 2y plus z is equal to 0. Feel free to pause the video if you know what to do, if you know how to solve it. So what we need to do is choose two out of the three equations. Let's choose the first two equations because if we add them, notice that we can cancel y. So first I'm going to rewrite it. So once we add them, 2x plus 2x is 4x, z plus 2z is 3z, and 7 plus 6 is 13. Now I'm going to save this equation. Now what we need to do next is we need to combine another two equations and cancel the same variable y. But we need to include equation 3 because we didn't use it. We only use the first two equations. We can use equation 1 and 3 or 2 and 3. Let's use 1 and 3. To cancel y, we need to multiply the first equation by 2. So 2x times 2 is 4x. y times 2 is 2y. z times 2 is 2z. 7 times 2 is 14. Now let's rewrite the third equation right beneath the modified first equation. And let's add them. 2y and negative 2y cancels. 4x plus x is 5x. 2z plus z is 3z. So here's the second equation that we have in terms of x and z. 5x plus 3z is equal to 14. Now, to solve those two equations, we just need to multiply one of them by negative 1. Let's multiply the first equation by minus 1. So it's going to be negative 4x minus 3z, which is equal to negative 13. And let's rewrite the other equation right beneath it. So let's add the two equations. So we can see that z will cancel. Negative 4x plus 5x is 1x. Negative 13 plus 14 is 1. So therefore, x is equal to 1. Now, let's plug that value into the first equation. Well, not the first equation, but the second equation in terms of x and z. So it's going to be 5 times 1 plus 3z is equal to 14. If we subtract both sides by 5, 14 minus 5 is 9. And then we'll divide both sides by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So z is equal to 3. Now we need to find the value of y. Let's use the first equation in its unmodified state, the original first equation. So x is 1. We don't know the value of y. z is 3. So let's combine like terms. 2 plus 3 is 5. So y plus 5 is 7. Now let's subtract both sides by 5. 7 minus 5 is 2, so y is equal to 2. So we can write the answer like this, 1, 2, 3, x, y, z. So that's it for that problem. Now let's work on some word problems. Two investments totaling 13000 were placed in separate accounts earning 15% and 14% annually. If the total interest received was 1900 during the first year, how much money was invested in the account paying 15% interest? Well, let's write an equation. Let's say that x is the amount of money paid or placed in the first account, and y is for the other account. x plus y has to add up to the total investment of 13000 
Now the total interest is 1900 So the first account, which X amount of money was placed in, let's say that account paid 15% interest. 15% as the decimal is 0.15. To convert a percentage into a decimal, divide by 100. 14 divided by 100 is 0.14. So this should equal 1900 the total interest received from both accounts. So now that we have a system of equations we can solve it. Whenever you have two variables, you need two equations to solve those two variables. And since we have decimals, let's multiply the second equation by 100. 0.15 times 100 is 15. And 0.14 times 100 is 14. 1900 times 100 is 190,000. Just add two zeros. Now let's solve this by elimination. Let's cancel the y variable. So let's multiply the first equation by negative 14. So we're going to have negative 14x minus 14y and then 13,000 times negative 14 is negative 182,000. Now let's add the two equations. 15 minus 14 is x. The y's will cancel. And 190,000 minus 182,000 is 8,000. So that's how much money was invested in the account paying 15% interest because x is associated with 15%. Now, the total investment is 13000 which means that 5000 was placed in the other account. So that's the account that was paying 14% interest. And so that's it for this problem. Now, let's make sense of that problem. So 8000 was placed in the first account, which paid 15% interest. 15% of 8000 if you multiply these two numbers, is 1200 so the first account earned 1200 in interest alone. Now the second account received $5,000 and was paying 14% interest. So 5,000 times 0.14 is 700. So that account received $700 in interest for that year. The total interest is 1200 plus 700, which is 1900. So as you can see, the numbers make sense. If five apples and eight bananas cost $6.55, and if nine apples and seven bananas cost $9.20, what is the cost of seven apples and 10 bananas? We have two variables, apples and bananas. We'll use A and B to represent those variables. So we need to write two equations. If we could find the value of one apple and one banana, then we could find a value of 7 apples and 10 bananas, which is the goal of the problem. So the first part of the problem states that 5 apples, or 5a, plus 8 bananas has a cost of $6.55. So 5a plus 8b equals 6.55. 9 apples and 7 bananas costs $9.20. Let's use these two equations to find the value of each apple and each banana. So what do you think we should do? Now if you want to, we can get rid of the decimal. We can multiply both sides by 100, but we don't have to. Let's multiply the first equation by negative 7 to get rid of b. And let's multiply the second equation by positive 8. We want to get 56b. 5a times negative 7 is going to be negative 35a. 8b times negative 7 is negative 56b. And 6.55 times negative 7, that's going to be negative 45.85. 9a times 8 is 72a. 7b times 8 is positive 56b. 
9.20 times 8 is 73.60. Now let's add the two equations. Negative 35 plus 72, that's going to be positive 37, or 37a. Negative 45.85 plus 73.60. That's 27.75. So now A is going to be 27.75 divided by 37. So the cost of each apple is 75 cents. Now let's use the first equation in its unmodified form to find B. So 5 times 0 0.75 plus 8B is equal to 6.55. So 5 times 0.75 is 3.75. Now let's subtract both sides by 3.75. So 6.55 minus 3.75 that's equal to 2.8. And B is going to be 2.8 divided by 8 which is 35 cents. So now we have the cost of every apple and every banana. So the cost of a single apple is 75 cents and the cost of a single banana is 35 cents. So now we could find the value of seven apples and 10 bananas. So it's gonna be seven times 75 cents plus 10 times 35 cents. 7 times 0.75 is $5.25. 10 times 0.35, you just got to move the decimal, that's $3.50. So if we add this, this should be eight seventy-five. So that's the cost of 7 apples and 10 bananas. It's $8.75.